Hey everyone, Slyman here. Today is going to be a quick review of the Celestron Luminos 2.5X Barlow lens. The first thing I noticed about the Luminos when I got mine was just how nice the fit and finish is. Uh, it's a hard anodized aluminum barrel uh, that's silver colored, which is fairly atypical for eyepieces or Barlow lenses. Normally they're black, but it looks really, really nice. Uh, Celestron also uh, includes the rubber ring around the body that they include on all the Luminos eyepieces, um, which really helps grip it if it's cold outside or you're wearing gloves or something. That ring comes in handy to really get a good grip on the Barlow lens. Uh, fit and finish wise, it's really nice as well. Uh, the one and a quarter inch adapter fits perfectly into the body, just as it should. Good finish. And the Barlow lens uses a compression ring to secure your eyepieces uh, so that you know you don't mar them. The one and a quarter inch adapter also uses a compression ring. So when you use your one and a quarter inch eyepieces, you don't mar those either. And like I said, they just fit in really nicely. Uh, Celestron also has oversized thumb, thumb screws on the Luminos Barlow, uh, and that's, I'm assuming, also for cold weather applications, so that if you're wearing gloves or you just have big hands or big fingers, you can easily uh, unscrew um, this thumb screw. Lastly, it is threaded to accept uh, two-inch filters, which is fairly typical for a, for a good Barlow lens. One thing I really like about the Celestron Luminos Barlow lens is simply its optical quality. Uh, it's an aprochromatic Barlow lens and it uses a four element design to give you a really flat field and it's fully multi-coated. And that multi-coating makes a big difference when it comes to Barlow lenses. I'm not sure if you've ever used, you know, like the uh, cheapo shorty Barlow lenses that come in, you know, some of the various kits that are sold, uh, but they give you a much more dim view. I mean, it's, it's significant. If you put in those those shorty Barlows, then put your eyepiece in and you know look at something like Jupiter. Uh, the view is much less bright than when you just use a fully multi-coated uh, Barlow lens. And I'm not saying it has to be you know the most expensive Barlow lens ever or anything like that, but just having those multi-coatings significantly increases your brightness. Uh, so that's why you know the Luminos has been great for me. Uh, there's definitely more expensive options, uh, but it does a really great job for what I what I use it for. So this is just a standard view of the sun using my Celestron 8-inch Schmidt Cassegrain and Eclipse Smart Solar Filter and my Canon DSLR. Now you can see the focus is decent, not bad. Brightness is good, not bad. Uh, not a lot of activity on the sun, kind of boring, um, but it's to be expected. We're in a period where there's not a ton of activity going on. Um, but if I switch over to the Luminos Barlow, you can see that the brightness goes down just a little bit, but it's not a lot because those multi-coatings help out quite a bit and compensate for the physics, I guess you could say, that's involved with a Barlow. A Barlow is just naturally going to decrease the brightness. Um, the other thing you can see is the focus is a lot less sharp, um, and that's one of the difficulties of using a Barlow lens is it's tricky to get a good focus. I really like 2-inch Barlow lenses because most premium telescopes come with two inch focusers and two inch diagonals. So, you know, if you do get one of those, they are ready to go to just slip right in. If you're using a two inch Barlow though for planetary imaging, it's not that you really don't need one, it's just a one and a quarter inch will work fine. Uh, the planets, uh, when you magnify on them, the field of view is so narrow that a one and a quarter inch Barlow is just fine. But I, I use a two inch Barlow, and the reason being is just because then I don't need two separate Barlows. Uh, this, can, this can take a one and a quarter inch, no problem, or a two inch, and so it's really like you're getting two in one. One thing I really like about Barlow lenses though is they essentially double the usage or potential usage of your eyepieces. So for example, let's say I really like to you know, view Saturn with this 15 millimeter eyepiece, but I don't like the eye relief on this eyepiece. Well, then I could just go ahead and get my 30 millimeter two inch eyepiece that has a lot better eye relief. I can drop it in my Barlow lens, get the same magnification basically, but keep my eye relief the same. So that ability to use your eyepieces at you know more than one focal length basically is really nice. 
Another thing I really like about this 2-inch Barlow is that it's threaded for 2-inch filters. Uh, I'm a big lunar observer. I really like to view the moon. And it's nice that I don't need a one and a quarter inch moon filter when I'm using this Barlow. I can just screw the, you know, the two inch moon filter to the bottom of the Barlow, and I can use either a two inch eyepiece or a one and a quarter inch eyepiece. It doesn't matter. Since the filter goes on the bottom, all the light that comes out the top is filtered. So you don't need a one and a quarter inch moon filter or any one and a quarter inch filter for that matter if you're planning on using this Barlow. Lastly, the reason I went with the Celestron Luminos Barlow lens is because for a premium Barlow lens, uh, the price really can't be beat. It is a fraction of the cost of other brands 2 inch Barlow lens, uh, almost half in some cases, and it's really a phenomenal Barlow lens, optically and aesthetically. Like I mentioned, it's apochromatic, it has four elements, it's multi-coated, uh, you know, it comes with a one and a quarter inch adapter, it uses brass compression rings, and these oversized thumb rings really help you to secure your accessories. Uh, this is a 2.5x Barlow lens, so if you, you know, put this in a 2,000 millimeter telescope, instantly you're at a 5,000 millimeter focal length telescope, so it's great for planetary imaging, and it holds your planetary imaging accessories really securely because of that oversized thumb ring. Uh, so for the price, it just can't be beat. It's just really durable, it's solid, it weighs almost a pound. Uh, I, in my opinion, this is a, a premium Barlow lens at a fraction of, a co of the cost of others. All right, well that's my review of the Celestron Luminos 2.5X Barlow lens. So until next time, clear skies.